quite obviously a, an amazing resemblance. Tell me, am I in there as well? Pick a card. Hand it over. Hello again, everyone. This is Matt. And I've had this box uh, sitting here for, geez, well, it's been several months. <laughs> uh, in fact, I can tell you, it has a date on it, um, early September 2017 is when this was shipped. And it's still sealed, I haven't opened it, and it should contain several dozen cassettes, blank cassettes. Um, I did a video like this a while ago where uh, I had a, a, a box of tapes that I had ordered off eBay, just random used, you know, um, blank cassettes. So uh, I thought I'd do something similar, you know. We're going to go through the box, have a look at what's in here. Maybe there's some good tapes, maybe not. Um, there should at least be several uh, Type 2 chrome tapes. And um, I got a good deal for this. I think even with shipping, I think it was only... I think it was less than ten dollars, so you know, I figured I couldn't go wrong. So let's open it up. You know, and I'm going to be curious to see exactly uh, exactly what's on these cassettes. You know, the content of them, because it's always fascinating to me um, to to see or hear what other people record, what they listen to. And sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's stuff where I think, geez, why, why would somebody bother recording that? But other times it's pretty good, you know, or it'll be something personal, like um, uh, something uh, like a, a family event or something. And I, I just think, oh, it's kind of cool that I'm privileged enough to be able to have a, a little listen in on somebody's life like that. So, here we go. Lots of uh, newspaper in here, so I guess that's good. Plenty of protection. Alright, and uh, like I said, there are quite a few tapes in here. Looks like something uh, something came loose somewhere in the box here. But, um, let's just uh, let's get started. Okay, and here's what it looks like with the... Um, once I've taken the newspaper out. Okay, big box. So, okay, uh, Maxell UI, so the Type 1 cassette. Um, it could well be blank, there's nothing written on it at all. But let's find out. Okay, so this, this appears to be a blank cassette, so you know, that's kind of cool. It's only a Type 1, but, um, you know, you usually can't go wrong with Maxell, that's for sure. Um, next up, oh, excellent, okay. Although this is in a, uh, a Radio Shack case, supposedly seven last words, so I don't know what that's about. Um, it's actually a very nice T2 
TDK SA90 um, Type 2 cassette. But if we have a look here, actually, this, this does have whatever Seven Last Words is on it. And it says 1969 Clay High School, right here. Um, now, clearly, this cassette was not around in 1969, so this has been dubbed. Um, I think this is from the late 80s or early 90s. But let's have a quick listen. I don't know if it's Seven Last Words. I would imagine it's maybe like a play or a performance of some kind. Well, it's definitely been recorded from vinyl because I can hear the crackle. Well, yeah, so it's, it's some kind of uh, production that was recorded off of vinyl. Um, so the cassette itself is definitely a keeper. I will not be keeping the uh, Seven Last Words uh, production that's on here. Next up we have, this is a, uh, a realistic, very old realistic tape, um, 60 minutes, right here. I love these old cassettes, isn't that beautiful, look at that. Um, of course Realistic was a Radio Shack brand, so we have Radio Shack branding on here too. And this used to have uh, Jim Nabors or Neighbors, N-A-B-O-R-S. I guess on here. Then somebody, if you make that out, somebody folded this over, probably recorded over it, and now it says it has something called High Spirits on it. So I don't know if that's going to be religious. Um, well, let's find out. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely not going to be keeping the recording. To be honest, it's, it's a, a very low quality tape. Um, we'll see if I keep it. I, I like the look of it, so the novelty value, maybe. I don't know. Next up we have... Okay, this is a, uh, a Scotch BX90 cassette. I remember these from when I lived in England. So they were obviously sold in the US as well. Probably sold all over the world. This does not have, oh, I'm sorry, I was going to say it doesn't have a, a label on it, but actually, um, it says Upper, Upper Uppers, U-P-P-E-R, the word Upper, then another word, it's written in pencil, that's Y-O-U-P-E-R-S, I don't know if you can make that out, I can barely make it out because it's written in pencil, no idea what this is, let's find out, shall we? Okay, well, the uh, the sound quality of that was actually pretty good. So that's uh, maybe promising, yeah, you know. A Scotch always used to make pretty decent cassettes, so I, I will probably keep that to record over at some point. Okay, we have another Scotch here, another BX90. Same design. I always like it when the labels are still in here, um, like that. Because that way I can use them. Um, yeah, I don't know what this is, so again, let's let's find out. I love you for so many reasons, large and small, and all of them are wonderful. I love you for all the special qualities that make you, you. Huh. Well, I don't know what that is. I don't know if that was intended as a personal greeting to somebody. Probably not, because it had the kind of uh, background music going on, but... 
yeah there we go um, next up this is a uh, well the case is a uh, Sony UX90 which I was excited about because I put a bit of chrome tape unfortunately what's in here is a much <laughs> lesser Memorex MRX1 but we'll give it a quick listen I recognize that the uh, record recording quality is terrible and it sounds like it was recorded off of vinyl and it was recorded at a really low level too so uh, that, that's uh, probably not going to be a keeper okay next up uh, another Maxell this is a uh, UI 90 so a type 1 but again it's Maxell you usually can't go too far wrong um, does still have the the labels which is nice um, yeah, I don't know, and, and at least the cassette matches the, uh, the J card this time. I don't know, um, what this is, oh, <laughs> well, this is already a little bit of a non-starter because the tape has come loose inside, and that's why it's so, uh, you know, you can see all the tapes unwound in there, it's completely gone, so, trash, but I'll keep the case. Next up, okay, this uh, this case or this uh, J card does match the tape, so that's good. Um, this is a Sony HF60 again, just a basic Type One cassette. But you know, so Sony uh, like Maxell, usually pretty good. You couldn't go too far wrong. Um, this says um, Fred and Damien harp crosses guitar. So I mean, I, I don't know. Um, crosses if it's going to be religious let's find out well <laughs> the problem again is the audio quality is so bad the, the recording quality has nothing to do with the tape it's actually a decent type 1 cassette um, it's just the, uh, uh, you know, it, it sounds like it was recorded by somebody, probably on one of those little portable devices with a, a mono mic. Um, so, next up, uh, this just should be a Trax 90 tape, um, which I do not regard <laughs> very highly. In fact, I just threw out some of these uh, earlier today, but uh, there we go. Uh, according to the J car, this should have Christmas music on it, so... I guess that's appropriate. It is the time of the year, you know. Oh, I, sh I forgot. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I mean, it's it's actually just past midnight here, so it is no longer Thanksgiving, but still, it's it's the time of the season. So, what did everybody do for Thanksgiving? I um, we had a very low key day. It was night. It was like ninety five or ninety four degrees here, where I live in Southern California. Uh, record setting temperatures for for Thanksgiving so it was just too hot to do much you know we we hung out at the house had a nice lunch um, my wife made a uh, pecan pie which was actually pretty damn spectacular I have to say um, so uh, we we have leftover pie tomorrow I'm, re I'm looking forward to that <laughs> and you know of course tomorrow's Black Friday I usually try to avoid uh, Black Friday, if possible. It's just, especially, I, I have, I have no interest in waiting in line for hours, like waiting for a store to open. And and I'm not trying to put down people who who do that. Um, I just, I don't know. Um, honestly, it looks kind of dangerous. And I've seen videos on YouTube. And it's just not worth it to me. It's not worth my time. It's not worth um, my dignity or my sanity. <laughs> you know? So, uh, you know, I, but I suppose if it was a real bargain, 
I guess, but most of the time it's like, yeah, it's like a TV or something, and I think, okay, you're saving a couple hundred bucks, maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But having having said that, admittedly, last year I did go out Black Friday and I bought um, my uh, Klipsch speakers that I, that I have here, which I can't really see, but I can rotate this a little bit, and you should see one. There we go, right here. Um, so I did, I did do that, so it's not like, uh, it's not like I, I refused to go out Black Friday, I just, um, make a point not to go out too early, so. Okay, so let's have a listen to this Christmas music. Eh, you know, it's uh, actually it says Christmas music music box, and that did sound kind of like a music box. Um, so I may, um, I mean, the, the tape's kind of garbage, but maybe we'll put it on tomorrow or at Christmas just for kicks, you know. Okay, next up, this one's got a little bit of a uh, bit of plastic sitting on top of it, although it doesn't look broken, so I'm not sure what that's from. Um, this is. Um, Oh, super tape. Okay, boy, this is this is really jammed on. Um, there we go. I like the J card. It's really like minimalist, like that. I'm not really familiar with these tapes. Um, it is a Type One cassette. Oh, it's realistic, of course. You know what? I knew I'd heard the name super tape. I have um, I have a couple of blank A tracks that are super tape. And this says it's a uh, Paul, Paul Ma Manza, oh Manz, M-A-N-Z, right there. So, um, I guess the camera doesn't want to refocus, but, uh, there we go, jeez. Uh, okay, I don't know who, who Paul Manz is, but let's have a quick listen. Okay, so it's some kind of uh, organ music. Um, yeah, not really my thing. But <laughs> uh, next up, this is a uh, another one of these very nice-looking realistic tape. I love the look of these cassettes. Um, now this, uh, I believe, is really well. No, I was going to say I believe it's religious. Um, but I think it's been taped over. It looks like it did have Kingdom Heirs, you know, Heir to the Throne type of thing, and Kingdom Heirs Pure Gold on it. But somebody's recorded over it, and now side one is uh, the new Christian Minstrels. But side two actually kind of piques my interest. Late Night Radio. So I'm, I let's give this a quick listen. Uh, unfortunately, as luck would have it, it is already wound to the beginning of side two for the late night radio. And so I, I, again, this is a pretty old tape. I don't know when this is from. Maybe somebody can tell me. I mean, I, my instinct would tell me it's from the late seventies, but, um, yeah, let, let's, let's find out, find out what this is all about. And I'd be curious to know what radio station it is too. I don't recognize the song, but uh, it sounds like country music. Now, whether this was actually recorded off the radio, let's see if we can find a jingle or something. Ah, 
Oh, that's disappointing. It sounds like it's not actually. Oh, you know what? It says late night radio, but now that I think about it, maybe that's the name of the album or something. Um, yeah, I was, I was thinking that that was, uh, you know, recorded off of radio back in the day, but I guess not. Um, next up, we have another tracks ninety. I have to admit, already this is a little bit concerning. I thought there were going to be a lot more uh, chrome tapes in here than this, but I mean, it was cheap. Um, the tape doesn't say what this is. In fact, and the J card doesn't either, so this could be absolutely anything. Let's find out. Well, I don't know what that is. Didn't like the sound of it. The audio quality was shocking. Alright. Ah, uh, okay. One of these, uh... I think the... I, I, I think these are absolutely hideous, but... These uh, colorful Memorex tapes. I remember these from back in the day, like... From the 80s. Um, apparently this has, um... Reducing stress on it. Um, yeah, all right, we'll give it a real quick lesson. For everyday life. In the minds of some people, the word hypnosis has connotations of magic or even hocus pocus. Movies, novels, and stage entertainment often contribute to these misconceptions. Well, okay. <clears throat> Probably not a keeper. <laughs> okay, another tracks ninety. This is a few of these in here. Um, bit of a crack case. Uh, apparently, this has South Pacific on it. I guess the soundtrack, which I think I think comes up in thrift stores um, on vinyl every so often. not going to be a keeper either. I'm just going to toss that. Um, it's not like it's on decent tape. Okay, another realistic. Another one of these beautiful old red tapes. Um, oh no, we've gone this whole time without Mantovani and there he is. Oh jeez. Um, yeah, okay, well I, I assume it really does have Mantovani on here, but let's give it a quick lesson. Alright, Mantovani. I guess it's inoffensive enough, but I don't know. <laughs> um, ah, another one of these cool... Um, I like these cases, sort of. I mean, they're, they're kind of useless, but I just like the way they work. Um, the, um, the video I did a while back, where I did the unboxing of the cassettes, had a couple of these in. And this is great because it doesn't... Yep, doesn't say uh, what this is, so let's, uh, yeah, let's find out, um, yeah. Well, you know, my Uncle Louie, he would enjoy something like this. He used to like people, a lot of them too. I'll never forget Uncle Louis when he got married. I don't know, it's been recorded on vinyl though by the sounds of it. It's very crackly. Let's have a look uh, or a listen to the B-side. Oh, nothing. Okay. Alright. What next? Oh, another one of these realistics. Cool. Awesome. This one has, side one has Fred Waring, I'm not familiar, 
side two, remember how great. Probably really just, I'm not going to play that one. Um, finally, a decent cassette. Good, good grief. Okay, a TDK SA60. And indeed, that's exactly what it is. Awesome. Uh, doesn't say what's on here, but it is kind of in the middle of the cassette, like it's been wound to the middle. So let's have a listen. Desks and they scream and they shout. And they talk of a war they know nothing about. Against the VC, they're not doing too well. But if paper were cordite, we'd be blown to hell. Singing dinky doubt. I, I assume the VC reference in the song is not the vinyl community. <laughs> I assume that's a reference to the Vietnam War, but. Okay, but a great quality cassette. Hasn't been written on at all, so I'm really happy with that. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, standard uh, TDK D90, but, you know, as f I always think that um, the TDK D series, as far as Type 1 tape goes, it's really about as good as it gets. Uh, some people might argue for some of the Sony HFs. Um, the Max Ls are always decent, but I always thought TDK was kind of where it was at with Type 1s. This one doesn't have a label, or, or well, it has the labels, but they haven't been written on. So, I don't know, it could be anything. I I always, you know, what I like about about these, you know, it's always the the promise that you might discover something that you'll put you'll put the tape in and find it's like uh, you know you're listening to uh, Colonel Sanders' long lost confession of his Kentucky Fried Chicken recipe or something. Uh, you know, and of course, invariably it turns out to be Mantovani or something, but, uh, you know, it's the thrill of the hunter, right? The thrill of the discovery. It's like thrifting. You you know that more often than not, you're going to walk away with nothing, and that more often than not, you're going to find crap, but just the promise that there could be something good keeps you coming back for more. So let's have a listen. Sounds familiar, what is this? Alright, here we go. So no number we go, give me some sugar, little honey, natural bee. Sounds vaguely familiar. I can't place it, but I like the sound of it. it sounds great. Let's have a listen to the B side. Nothing on the B side. But the A side sounded really good, so that, um, I think that definitely warrants some further investigation. Alright, what else do we have here? Okay, more realistic. More of these. Ah, but no label this time. Doesn't say. Cool, okay. So we're going in blind. Let's find out. Oh, this one's got a little bit of a. The pressure pads, um, come away from this. I don't Let's see if I can take it out. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little fiddly to do real quick. So, all right, we're not going to do that one. But that's okay. Where there's one realistic, there's another one. This one, uh, okay, this one does have a label on the inside. Music, Martinis, and Memories. Hmm. Oh, Jackie Gleason, by the looks of it. Okay. Okay, well, let's give it a quick listen. Recorded from vinyl. I know it's I know it's getting late here, but I don't want to go to sleep just yet. Uh, okay, what's this one? Ooh, ooh. Now this looks old. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, this is awesome. 
check this out. It's on Sears tape. That does look cool. That looks like uh, I wouldn't even be surprised if this was from the 60s. Um, it has a little card in here. Um, the idea is, you see, that you would mail this to somebody. Look at that. It's like a postcard. Yeah. Now the pressure pad um, isn't great on this one either, but I'm so curious, I just want to kind of see if I can take the pressure pad out and still play it. Um, normally I would prefer to do this with um, like tweezers or something, but I don't have any to hand, so that's okay. Let's take this out. Now what you can do with these, and what I may do with this one, is um, just glue it. You could either use super glue, I've used wood glue before, that seemed to work perfectly fine just to glue these pads back on. And boy, this is really uh, not wanting to come out. Alright, I got it out. <laughs> I knew my wife would have uh, some tweezers in the drawer in the living room, so. Okay, let's have a listen. Yeah, of course, it could be blank. I mean, no, maybe nobody ever used this. Yeah, it sounds like it. there's nothing on it. Okay, that's kind of cool. So this is basically new old stock. Um, and uh, I'm going to keep this out to uh, glue this pressure pad back on some point but yeah I think this is just awesome I, I honestly the au auction was almost worth it just for this really cool okay let's see what we've got next uh, oh another tracks 90 okay Oh, I think now we might be we might be discovering the source of the earlier piece of plastic. I think it's come from here. Yeah, this is falling to pieces. Good thing I don't like these tapes anyway. Um, uh, this apparently has famous waltzes on it, so you know what? Let's just stick this right in the trash. Famous waltzes. Yeah. Um, oh, another tracks ninety. Hmm. Uh. Roger Whittaker's Christmas album. Well, again, it is the season. Let's give it a quick listen. Look down, look down and see the world. Look down and see the world rejoicing. A sharp. Eh, inoffensive enough. Could be one to put on tomorrow, maybe, you know, just in the background. I'm really not very familiar with Roger Whittaker. I mean, I see his stuff in thrift stores, but I've never paid any attention to it. Um, so, you know. Okay, this is another Maxell um, UR. Organ and Billy Vaughan, apparently. Um, oh, this is a, a 120, UR 120. So, much longer and thinner tape. Definitely organ music. Okay. Maxell UDI 60. Um, I think this is just a type 1. Yeah, just a type 1. But again, it's Maxell. You usually can't go wrong. This looks like it might have had something recorded on it, so let's find out. Doesn't. Oh, it actually. I'm sorry, it does say. Uh, it's just very faint. Oh, it's that Kingdom Airs thing again. Kingdom Airs live at Dollywood. So, I was thinking it was some sort of religious thing, and maybe it is, but maybe it's also like a country band.
maybe. Well, that's rewinding. Let's look at the next one. Um, now the track's 90. The, ro the Romance of the Pan Flute. Yeah, my mother went through a phase in the early 90s where she was obsessed with pan pipes. They were like all the rage and she had all these CDs. Um, the hour that will start eternity. Lately I've heard humming, I've heard instruments being tuned. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be, to be absolutely honest with you. So either way I would keep the tape. So... Um, anyway, yeah, Romance of the Pan Flute, uh, I think we can give that one a miss, don't you? Because I've still got quite a few tapes to go through, and this is already turning into a long video. Uh, okay, I've, I've never seen this brand before. Somebody can enlighten me, I'm sure. KMC, what is that? I have no idea. Um doesn't doesn't say on the J card or the labels but the tape is halfway through so let's find out oh that's interesting this says it's a high bias tape um, so this should be uh, chrome yes it is I wonder if it's any good I have absolutely no idea I'm trying to see if it if I can get, oh it's a it's Kmart manufactured in Hong Kong for Kmart Corporation well that it probably KMC K Mark cassette. There you go. I can't imagine it's that good, but who knows? I I mean the actual tape itself was probably made by a decent manufacturer. Now that I think about it, let's find out. Well, that was anticlimactic. Okay, let's let's rewind it a little bit and we'll find out. It's very noisy. So. <laughs> The uh, the shell's probably a bit suspect, even if the tape's any good. Really, nothing on. Okay, let's let's try the other side. Okay. Well, there you go. It's a bit of a, uh, a curiosity. Uh, this KMC, I've never heard of it. Maybe it was, I mean, I didn't didn't grow up in the US, so maybe those cassettes were really common 30 years ago or something. But All right, what else do we have in here? Excellent, another good tape. Another beautiful um, TDK SA90 Type 2. Um, this does have a label on it. It says... Uh, Retta Solos, something like that. Let's find out. Okay, so it's piano recital, basically. Okay, but very, very pleased to get another nice TDK essay tape right there. Hey, excellent. We got another one. Beautiful. Uh, no label on this one. In fact, could be blank because it's still got the labels here. Let's find out. Yeah, I guess it's blank. Hmm, okay. And this is a this is an RCA tape. Um, again, nothing on the labels. Oops. Just the Type One tape. Can't imagine it's particularly good, but let's find out what's on here. My husband just died last April. Yeah, I see that. He's at peace. And all, but someone that was around your husband and you both was a kind of a guy that I'm talking about. He's single, he's a widower, I believe now, or he's divorced. 
Well, our very dear friend, I mean, my girlfriend, my best friend died three months exactly after Russ. Dawn is... You know what this is? This is like a cold reading. Oh, how wonderful. Like a psychic, so-called psychic. I, I, I'm not saying there's no such thing as a true psychic, but there's so many frauds out there that um, so many of them just, just use cold reading. Very clever, very cleverly done, but I think that's what this is. Let's see. Uh-huh. Now let's start it, start it right at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I can't imagine this is copyrighted, so... <laughs> okay. You go in there to Moscow, you know, and the food and that salad bar and those cakes and those pies. Oh, yeah. I do a lot of shopping up there, and I go to that Capital City Mall up there, too. Do you ever go in there? Really? Yeah. Okay. Shuffle, make a wish, give me the cards. And I make a wish. Oh. You said? Yeah. Okay. Cards are looking good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Oh. Who's passed on that you think about? Here we go. Who? Uh huh. My husband. Yeah, it was. Right here it is. He lays right beside of you. He's a piece, so move on with the light. He don't want you worrying about him. Okay. Yep, you're going right on with the light. Okay, you got the five. Okay, and that time on it, that was you to the July 4th, got to, to belong to what you God wants you to love. So, looking into the future, you do have plenty of living to do because I look at the birth in order to see if there's life. Yeah, you got a life. Hell, you're just getting started. Taking care of yourself, doing things in your life, and you're not always alone. Sometimes or another, you like to get out and do what you got to do. You got your family, you got life, but it says always remember retirement years. Or would you like to be doing some traveling in the future? Mm -hmm. Well, get ready to go. Did you, <laughs> did you ever think about going overseas? When my son was in the service. Okay. I see kids, grandkids. Mm -hmm. No grandkids at all. Just a son. No, I have a daughter. I was going to say because it shows. Yeah, all right. No problems, no deaths coming up. Are you doctoring some? No. Well, I didn't think so. Hell, you're looking pretty good to me. <laughs> Papers, job, home, life, area. And uh, there it is again. Retired or thinking about it? Oh, I am retired. Oh, yeah. what profession was you at? Banking. Huh. Well, that's good. Keep the bank. <laughs> okay, who's the gentleman that's around you a lot of friends? I have a son at home yet. Yeah, you have your son at home, but there's a gentleman in the neighborhood that really gets his attention with you. Okay. <laughs> um, I actually wonder if uh, if it's uh, a tarot card reading, because uh, he was dealing out cards early on, and uh, it's not even good cold reading. It's really terrible. <laughs> Really, <laughs> yes. He's just fishing for information, and some people are desperate enough that they'll go along with it. But anyway, okay. This is a uh, Sertron D120. I got very distracted by that last one. I'm sorry. Uh, this appears to be religious, according to the the song titles on here. But let's find out. Um, this is going to sound terrible. Oh, I'm not even going to put it on. It's all jacked up. Um, it says it's a, a, a dictation cassette, so I already know it's not going to be good, so I'm going to keep the case, throw that out. Okay, next up we have a, um, oh cool, this is a, uh, a Maxell, I thought it was just going to be, be a UR90, which is just a standard Type 1 cassette, but it's actually an XL2. Very nice Type 2 tape, no idea what's on it. Um, let's find out. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Sound quality is decent. Let's listen to the other side. Okay. There you go. 
definitely keeping the tape because it's a good quality cassette. Um, oh, beautiful. Another Maxell XL2, but this is, that's what it's all about. I have quite a few of these. These are wonderful tapes. Um, and a little less common, actually, now to find this. This still has the, uh, the labels and everything. Beautiful condition. Um, now, it looks like this was recorded in 1988. Back to the 60s, Volume 2. Now, whether that's still on there, I don't know. There we go. Yeah. Because it was folded over. But let's have a little listen. We'll find out. Okay. I don't actually know the song to be honest with you, but uh, cool. I'll record over it. These are great quality tapes. They really are. Um, next up is a, uh, a Sony HF, Sony Hi-Fi tape. Um, no indication as to what's on. Oh wait, no, I tell a lie. Um, Soldier's Songs by Michael McCann. No idea what that is. We'll give it a real, very quick listen. For young Willie McBride, it's all happened. Very quick. Okay. Next up, TDK uh, D90 tape, rock rhythm and doo wop, according to the uh, label right here. Can't be bad, can it? Camera won't focus. There we go. Jeez. Um, still has the labels in here, so I guess that's good. Doesn't have the track listing, so let's see. Can't go wrong with the lion sleeps tonight, right? Awesome. Uh, nothing on the B side, but hey, the lion sleeps tonight. Very cool. All right, another one of these lovely realistic tapes. Uh, this one's also missing the pressure pad. Apparently, this is a very, very relaxing tape. Or so I've been told just now. So, uh, well, shoot, let's see what's on here, shall we? Probably another one of those hypnosis deals. Very soft and warm and very relaxed. And each time that you listen to this recording, your deeper mind will become more alert to any tension that develops in your body. You'll begin to notice that during the day, when muscle tightness results from a period of stress, you will become I'm just kidding. Okay. You'll also... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, alright. Uh, okay, another realistic super tape. Allegedly, let's see if that's the case. Yes, it is. Cool. Very nice. Um, could be somebody called Jim Neighbors again. N-A-B-O-R-S. I'm sure somebody will tell me who that is, but let's find out. Organ music. I should have remembered. Okay, we're getting there now. There's only like, I don't know, eight or nine more to go. Oh, is that all? Uh, uh, Radio Shack. Oh, it is a Type 2. It's a chrome tape. Cool. Uh, there's the, the edge of it right here, or the J card. There's the tape itself. There we go. But yeah, it's a, it's a chrome tape. Doesn't have anything on the label. It could be blank, I guess. Let's see. Oh, 
Yeah, I think it's empty. Cool. Awesome. I don't know if these are any good, but, you know, we'll find out when I try to record something on it. Okay. Ooh. Now, this is nice. It's another super tape, realistic, but this is a Type 2. Getting a lot of uh, glare off of that uh, silver, I'm sorry. But look at this, look at the inside, or the, the, the flip side of it. Cool. So you open it up, and it's got this whole little insert thing here. That's neat. Now this must be a fairly early tape. I would think this is from uh, the very early 80s. Could even be late 70s. I wouldn't be entirely surprised. And uh, it does, let's see what it's supposed to be on it. Symphonies. Symphony 1 and 2. Well, we'll give it a quick listen. Give it the old college try. the sound quality is not bad clearly recorded off of vinyl but that's some real nice punch to it when the music kicked in right there um, but again I love the look of that tape really cool um, oh speaking of tapes I love the look of look at this bad boy another Maxell XL2 this is a 60 this is a later one yeah um, possibly not recorded on still has the labels nothing written on here so let's uh, have a listen so honestly this, this auction wouldn't be worth it just for a few of these um, XL2's that were in here or the, a few of the TDK's that were in here because again I, I'm pretty sure even shipping was under 10 bucks I, I put in like a real cheeky low ball bid and just happened to win it some are small some are in between some are yellow belly queers and some of them are I don't know what that is. You and our records in different magazines and things. The uh, recording quality is terrible. It's nothing to do with the tape. It's just again uh, the recording device. It's really low quality. Okay. Ooh. Okay. It's a, just a Type One, but I don't have any tapes. I don't have any of these. It's a Maxell UI ninety, but it's an earlier one. Check that out. Focus, focus, camera doesn't want to focus, you know why, it's because my, it can see my face through the hole, uh, okay whatever, but anyway yeah, Maxell UI90, doesn't say what's on here, so let's find out, yeah, it's funny, the tape's really dark like chrome, but it, it is type 1, yeah, it is. One of these days I'm going to do a video about um, the different cassette types. It's, it's in the back of my mind. It's on the back burner, but it, I'll get to it. Okay, so there's some sort of classical music. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. It does say what's on there. It's a really light pencil. Oh, Tchaikovsky, Nutcracker Suite. And then Romeo, Romeo and Juliet on side B. Okay. Alright, we've only got six left. Okay, we've got a Maxell UI90 Type 1, but that's okay. I um, think it says what's on here. Still has a label. I love it when people lo leave the labels tucked in, tucked into the, the, the middle. That's all you should do if, you, if you're not using them. Um, yeah, I don't know what's on here. Let's see. Apparently nothing on side two. Side one. There must be something on here because it was wound almost to the end of side one, so I would be a little bit surprised if it's blank. But I guess it is. Hmm, okay. 
Next up we have another one of these tracks 90, these horrible, horrible tapes that just won't die. Um, this has Ten Tennessee Ernie Ford sing a hymn with me. Um, well, that's not what the J card says. So, uh, in fact, the J card originally did say Tennessee only for Ford, and it's been crossed out. Now it's supposed to be uh, music, music, music. I can dream, can I? Side two, Mr. Sandman. Little things mean a lot. Whoops. Okay. Ba da 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 Awesome. Reminds me of Back to the Future. <laughs> um, not going to be a keeper though. The, the tapes are just not up to it. They're just garbage. So, Okay. Almost, uh, oh geez, another Trax 90. <laughs> there were a lot more of these in here than I thought. Um, Sunday School, there you go. So this could be an insight into uh, Sunday School at a church somewhere, probably in the United States. Let's rewind it. And see, you can hear probably how noisy this is. It's another indication of how poor these tapes are. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We had something there. I can barely hear anything on it. So, sorry, Sunday school, but you're you're gone. Okay, three left. Oh, it's another one of these Radio Shack Type 2s. Cool. Awesome. Very nice. Um, does not say what's on it. Could be brand new. I don't know if the labels are in it. No, there's no labels. Wait, there is something on here. Piano recital, something like that. And it's another Radio Shack Type 2, same, same type of cassette. This one does actually have the labels, which is nice because there are four labels that come with it, so I could use those for that, that other tape that's missing them. Again, yeah, doesn't say what's on here. I think it's blank. Okay. Last, last one. Um, hmm. It's a, uh, it's a super tape. Um, And, uh, well, looks like uh, this has actually been printed. Mormon Tabernacle Organ, John Longhurst and Buck by uh, Daniel Chorzemper. Chorzemper. Yeah. Yeah. But that's not what the tape says. The tape says the glory of box side one and the glory of box side two. So let's find out. Honestly, I honestly I couldn't tell you um, whether uh, that was Bach or the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. <laughs> But yeah, there we go. There we go. So uh, I'm going to look up. I'm going to look this up real quick. Very curious about it.
standby. Okay, so I just did a quick little bit of research, and I don't think the cassette matches, even though it does look like it's from the same time period. Um, but um, this is from around 1970, so I thought it could be the late 60s, but 1970. Um, I do think the label goes with it, because the um, serial number on the label is almost identical. The um, cassette, though... Although I think it is from around the same time period, I suspect this maybe um, doesn't. Although it does see instant loading tape cassette. Um, and this says instant loading tape cartridge on it. So I, I'm not, I'm not going to say for sure that the tape doesn't go with the case. But um, yeah, anyway, just a, a little curiosity, uh, or curio, I guess I should say. Um, yeah, that I think is uh, really kind of cool. So... I think I'm going to be hanging on to that. I have no intention of using it, but just, um, again, just because it's a curio and just because it's an interesting item. So thank you guys, as always, for watching. I know it's been another long video, <laughs> uh, like the uh, the last tape one I did, the unboxing one. But um, as always, I appreciate all you guys watching and subscribing. And until next time, bye-bye.